help us help Atheist Republic fight Hindutva. Yay! So, guys, this is very exciting and um, something that um, is important to Atheist Republic as an organization. So many of you guys are familiar with the long, um, I mean, series of incidents that we've been dealing with um, because of our blasphemy, specifically against Hindu deities. Um, we've experienced a wealth of judicial harassment um, from a variety of sources in, in India. And this has required us to retain lawyers so that we can address these many, many different issues that we're facing in India. And um, we need help um, paying for all of our legal fees that we've accrued. And so this has come from a variety of things. Um, for example, there have been numerous legal complaints filed against us that our lawyers have to look over like upwards of five, maybe as many as seven. Like I've lost count because there's been so many um, it, as well as challenging um, in uh, watching over the status of police reports that are um, filed against us, um, keeping up to date on the uh, case that will go before the Supreme court of India um, that involves directly involves our blasphemy. That's another thing that we have to do um, and our lawyers have to do. Uh, and then we also are working on looking at as many options as we can to remain connected to our community in India. So for those who are not aware, our website was blocked from many different internet service providers um, by the Indian Telecommunications Ministry. Um, as well as our main Facebook page, where we had over 300,000 members in India is now fully blocked to every user in India upon government directive. This has been confirmed. Um, not to mention Armin's personal page. Uh, there's now the unprecedented step of his personal page, him as a foreign national, um, being blocked to all users in India. So not only does this inhibit um, users from Indians from being able to access our main community, they can't even try to get a taste of our community through following Armin's page. Armin can't even message Indian users. Um, and we are also working to fight and fend off future bans to our websites and various social platforms because we are fighting to stay in communication with our community in India, which is our largest community in Asia. Um, and we're the largest atheist organization in India. And so this requires a lot of time. This requires a lot of drafting of letters, um, drafting of legal documents, which of course involves drafting fees, um, filing fees, and of course um, paying for the time that I spend with our lawyers to talk about these issues and um, to game plan. So much work goes into this behind the scenes. And um, if you guys have a little bit that you would be willing to put towards some of our legal expenses, this would be a massive, massive, massive help to our organization. And would it also help us stay connected to one of our most vibrant communities across the world. Um, so please consider um, donating what you can. And I think it would mean a lot, not only to me and to Armin, but it would mean a lot to our community in India who I hear from all the time they were upset they're not able to connect to us in the, the way that they once were able to. And they feel encouraged by the fact that we are so motivated in not taking this lying down, right? We're trying to fight this in as many ways as we can. And um, that requires resources. And uh, yeah. Armin, do you have anything yeah. to add? Yeah, a lot of people don't know how much Susanna spends time talk, uh, talking to a lawyer uh, lawyers and yeah I, actually i have to be careful because i don't know what i'm allowed to say 
but there's a lot of work that is going behind this and we have been uh, paying out of pocket for all the legal fees and to respond to everything that is coming at us, including, you know, police filings and court issues like, um, you know, this is, we just want to make sure that there is some form of resistance to this. Like we can, like right now, the way it works, whenever you go after whatever these people consider sacred, they just want to overwhelm you with all these legal stuff for you to just be like, okay, this is too much. We can't deal with this. I think like we do, we just want to be, we're just like trying to show that we're just not going to just take this and encourage people to show there's, there's some, at least some resistance to it. And we have a really good team of, you know, lawyers and, advisors that are helping us but there's a cost associated with that and it it's not like we're not even asking for much like look it's only a, the goal is fifteen hundred dollars like that will help us a lot just to be able to make sure that we are able to pay the legal fees and even if you can't like uh, support us by like donating to this gofundme um please like the link is in the live chat and also right after the stream i'm going to make sure that the link i put the link at the very top of the description Please just share it or just share this, you know, video. Um, th sharing the link would be very helpful. I'm actually surprised that there's, we haven't mentioned this anywhere. How did we get already a donor? That's a, <laughs> a, a John, John Thompson, thank you. Like, I don't know how... <laughs> yeah, I know. I was so excited. Today we got our first donation. <laughs> I think it was because I kind of hit it in um, the description of our uh, Patreon oh. announcement of this stream. Well, thank you so much to whoever who was the first donor without us even mentioning that we have. And a, we just got our second donation from AGA. Thank oh, you. Oh, we did? Yes, we did. Thank that, that's Hold on. Let me refresh this. Oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Wow. We got two donors already. We haven't even started. We already got two donors. Great. So only $1,460 left to go. Mm -hmm. um do you i do think you did a very good job at the statement here that you put in the description do you want to maybe read it oh i'm a i am kind of just detail like what the money is specifically yeah. going towards um right but i outlined that pretty much already but um yeah i, I just kind of give a little bit of the background and mm -hmm. um then talk about why this matters to our community but i already verbalized that um but yes i do have to say i have to thank our legal team um they're they great. do amazing work for us um they're so knowledgeable and well versed in what they do um and it was because of our atheist republic community that we were actually able um even connected to them like i wouldn't have been able to find the representation that we have now if it wasn't for our community in India who were um, legally knowledgeable. Um, so I'm so glad that we were able to be connected to them in such a way. And um, they're very nice. Like um, they're fully aware of like what we do and um, they're not like weird about it. They're not judgmental, <laughs> you know, like uh, they're really a really awesome team. And okay, so I don't know, Suze is very careful about what we could uh, say out loud but i do want us to tell these lawyers to give us things that we could say to update you guys on the progress that we make with it like a lot of the things that we, they told us we can't say it but we have to wait uh until it actually gets finalized but if if we could continue afford, uh, to pay these lawyers we want to every time we make a progress in fighting back against Hindutva, every time we are successful or even if we're not successful when there's an update and the lawyers are like you are good to go with telling this to your audience we're going to come here and give you guys an update on what's the progress there seems to be some good updates coming you know i mean like we are heading yeah. in the right direction yeah go on well part of the problem is is that india's legal system is notoriously overburdened and especially during the global sickness that is going around, especially considering how hard India was hit with it, um, mm -hmm. it has made that a lot worse. So um, a lot of the things that we've been working on evolve very slowly. Um, 
Yeah, but there will be pro. There, it seems to be going in the right direction, and eventually, when there's progress, we will come out and let you guys know whatever we're allowed to tell you. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. Great. Yes. Um, Oftentimes, oh, our successes. I, it's kind of cool. I mean, just because I'm a nerd and a researcher, like our successes are often just like ascertaining more information about like what's going on. Um, I love that kind of thing. Oh wow! We, oh we wait, refresh. Oh, it's not selling here. But anyway, thank you though. I appreciate that. When yeah, it comes, thank in. you. Um, thank you. And also, AJ is saying is going to uh, share this. Oh, oh wow! She's going to ask her on her. Thank you. That's very sweet. And she 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 also said she's going to post it on Twitter. Um, I really like the fact that the assumption by a lot of these mob is that we're just going to they're going to just throw all the everything at us and we're just going to be like oh my god i'm just like i'm really glad that we're not that we decided to be like wait we can we could actually see like all this legal stuff that coming at us maybe like maybe we could actually challenge it like i don't i don't think like the assumption was that this is there would be a response like i think the assumption was like oh my god and we're gonna run away so i just even i know that we don't have enough resources to challenge it right but the fact that we are standing up against it as much as we can, and we're just not like submitting to it, I I'm really proud of Susanna for doing that. But by the way, all of this is because of Susanna. Like this was her yeah. idea to actually legally go, and go, she went and then made the connections, found the lawyers, um, you know, all the management that she did. This was like I'm really proud of you, Susanna, for actually like we don't have to take this. We could actually do something about this, right? So, yeah. and I hope, I hope. I hope if we have any success with this, we could motivate other people to just be like, you know, to show like, you know, you, you can't, you can't always rely on just bullying people around to just make things go your way. Like this shouldn't mm -hmm. be something that works. Right. Um, if we, if we are any, if we see any success at this, I hope like we could use this as a way to encourage other people to find ways to, you know, just resist this yeah. because again guys we we love india okay and we don't like the fact that these bullies are just getting their way by just intimidating people right and i know this is not a significant thing compared to the force that we're dealing with but it has to like so, you know it's something it's something so again anybody who supports us um thank you even guys the support is even i know like a lot of you can't afford supporting us okay but just sharing it would be huge. So that would that means a lot to us. So thank you, thank you yeah. to anybody. That's in um, um, yeah. I'm, uh, mm. My favorite thing about this is when I talk about this with our Indian community members. How encouraged they are that we are doing something, and because mm. um, often they feel like you know it's just like this monolith, and um, I think that means something. Um, and I know how much having this community means to them. And I want to make sure that we can maintain that community for them. Um, and we're going to have to fight for it. And so, yeah, please consider, uh, donating and share, especially with your other atheist community, uh, atheist Republic friends. And, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you guys for all the support so far. Yeah. And thank you, Susanna, for all the work that you're doing behind the scene, and it doesn't go appreciated because people don't see it. Guys, just trust uh, me. She's doing so much work, and she's so good at it. Hey, guys. If you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.